Hello there and welcome to another video here on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Ehrlichs, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate at Aqua Security. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Trivi Docker Desktop Extension. Also, like always, link below is the blog post for this video. So if you prefer the written version instead of the video version, the blog post is linked below. If you're new to Trivi, Trivi is a simple but comprehensive open source vulnerability scanner. You can use Trivi to scan your container images, your Git repositories and your file systems for vulnerabilities. In addition, you can scan your infrastructure as code configuration files, such as your Docker file or your Terraform file for misconfigurations. Now, here's the Trivi website. You can already scan container images right through the website. So we can just go ahead and say Ubuntu latest scan image and it's going to scan our Ubuntu image for vulnerabilities. Now you can go ahead and get the CLI just through the documentation, then getting started and here's all the installation, everything that you need to install Trivi and then you have access to all of the features within Trivi. However, if you're using Docker desktop, you likely just want to scan your container images that you have locally running within Docker desktop, for example, for vulnerabilities. And this you can do now through the Trivi extension. Now for that, you have to be on Docker desktop beta version or soon be on the latest release of Docker desktop. But if you're on the beta version, you have here an extension section now. Now you can add an extension and here you will find in the marketplace, you will find Trivi. You can also go directly to the marketplace and then you will find Trivi here. Now we can go ahead and install Trivi extension. And then once it's installed, we can open it up. As you can see, it's asking me right away to scan my container images. Now here we'll list all of the container images that you have already locally. Okay. Now, since I have my Kubernetes Docker desktop instance running, it has all of the container images that are used to run Kubernetes through Docker desktop. However, additionally, I have here within my apps, I have one example React application. Now I want to check that through Trivi for vulnerabilities. So I can go ahead and scan it. As you can see, it has two high critical vulnerabilities and seven high vulnerabilities. I can filter by vulnerability. I can see all of the vulnerabilities. Now, in addition to scanning my local container images that I have running here, I can also go to the Docker Hub and then scan any remote container image that I don't have locally. Now, in this case, I want to scan one of the latest node images. So I'm going to scan Alpine. 3.14. I can just paste it in here in the same box and scan the image. As you can see, this image particularly has no found vulnerabilities. Yay! <laughs> All arms go up. Uh, no. <laughs> so we can scan another image, such as Note 17. Let's go ahead and scan a bit of a larger image, Note 17, for vulnerabilities. And as you can see, this image has eight high vulnerabilities and two medium vulnerabilities. Now, you can see here a flag and I can toggle this off and it basically says show, right now it says show all of the vulnerabilities, including the ones that don't have a fix available yet. As you can see, once I untoggle this, I have in total 957 vulnerabilities of those 12 critical and 142 high vulnerabilities. Now, most of those vulnerabilities don't have a fix yet available. So I only want to show those vulnerabilities that I can already fix within my container image. So these are the ones that I can already fix. Now, once you've scanned your container image for vulnerabilities, you can also generate an SBOM output of that container image. What is an SBOM? Check out my previous video to get a complete overview of SBOM and how to use Trivi, the CLI, to generate SBOMs. SBOM is basically a machine readable output that details all of the dependencies, everything that goes within your container image, all of the dependencies and their vulnerabilities, the different components, everything that, you, that your software or in that case your container image is dependent on. Now it has several advantages. If you have an SBOM of a third party software, you can see everything that goes into that software. That allows you to make an informed decision on whether or not you want to use that tool, that software or choose another one. 
Additionally, S-Bombs become really useful for security audits as they detail everything that's within your own software, within your own code. Over time, you can filter the different S-Bombs and see how your software evolved or maybe it got new vulnerabilities over time or similar. So once you've generated the S-Bomb, you can either copy it to your clipboard or you can save the S-Bomb as a file to your desktop. I hope this video was useful. Make sure to hit the like button. And if you really like this video, subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos on Trivi, Tracy and Starboard. And to stay up to date with cloud native security here on the Aqua Open Source channel. Also linked below is the Aqua Slack channel. Join our community. Let us know what kind of content you would like to see. Let us know your suggestions, your ideas for the open source tools. I really hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.